Look, the dolphins are down here. See that wave? That's a dolphin. They found some fish. Dolphin are getting dinner. See the birds over top of them? The birds are looking for the same fish. And the birds and the dolphin are. Got him go. Some good eats. Some good eats. Wonder how many there are there. There's quite a few of them. I think I see some a little further out there too. Yeah, they go down. They're out a little ways. birds and the dolphin they've been kind of getting through this these bands of this tropical storm it's moving real slow it's still south of us i thought it was going to be raining a lot more look at them go you see them when they take off like that and make that big wave they're chasing something and they kind of <clears throat> dolphin of course they kind of hunt in, in packs and they they got a bunch of different ways that they catch them You'll see them do different things, but uh, but you know they they kind of circle them up. They get they get the the fish that they're feeding on kind of disorganized, and they just kind of swim around them and pick them off as they go. Looking around to see if there is any. Sometimes there'll be like the pack will be out in front and then there'll be some stragglers doing their own thing, but I don't see any. See the <clears throat> Yeah. If I had gotten here just a couple of minutes earlier, I would have probably seen them further down the beach and I could have followed them a little ways. I don't know right now if they're going to come back along the shoreline or go out towards it. looks like they were kind of heading out. I could walk around the side and just maybe I'll... I doubt it, but... I might catch them around the other side. I think they're going out. Let's see. We'll go over here and see if we can find, find them close to the shore again over on this side. But uh, isn't that cool? They're smart animals. The dolphins, I think we have a, the cetacea, the odontoceti. The odontoceti is the cetacea with the teeth. A danta means teeth, tooth, danta. But they're so smart and uh, so social. You know, I think when you look at dolphins and, uh, you know, uh, orcas and, and then whales, they, um, you know, they, they, they have a whole nother, they have huge brains and of course they live and survive in a, an environment that's much different than humans so their adaptions are quite a bit different and that and that is why i think you know in some ways not in a whole way i mean i think it's pretty clear that humans are by whatever standards you want to look at the most intelligent living organisms on earth but we do a lot of dumb things too but but i do think that there's elements of especially these animals like like dolphins and whales that we might say well, in, in individual areas their intelligence i think has i think it's arguable that maybe they surpass humans in certain specific areas because they have a a totally different 
sense of uh, the brain has developed in, in very powerful elements, like um, in the way that they communicate, in the way that they use uh, uh, sound, and in that way, the way that they 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 organize themselves. They're very very um, very social and. Sourceful. So I do think there might be some elements there that we're gonna, we're gonna see some 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 real breakthroughs in at some point in the future. And to me, it seems like it's definitely a possibility. I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying that I think I'd be fine with somebody calling me crazy for thinking that because I just see certain things with those animals. They went out. You know, I, I think um, when we look at those well, all living things, and I also think that the idea of Gaia, which is the Earth as a whole, as being a living organism, at least the, the surface area of the Earth, and, and I think it gains more and more credence with time. I mean, as we learn how all these, if you can imagine forest it, re it really looks a lot like an uh, 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 analog to the human brain and once you understand that all these organisms do communicate through chemical and electrochemical mechanisms much like the way that our brain does um, just on a more of a, they have a more of a macro structure because the, the, the thing about the human brain and mammalian brains is we have a we have something called the myelin sheath and that allows for very efficient transmission of electrochemical impulses from neuron to neuron so you can pack a lot in but the mycelium in the ground and the chemicals in the in the air um, uh, and also the chemicals that get passed from one plant or what organism to another through through say like uh, insects you know pollinators and things like that they're carrying messages with them we know now without a doubt that these 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 plants these trees whatever it, they don't exist in isolation they, they do pick up signals from their surroundings. Um, that's that's well d proven at this point. So when you think about it like that, and you just think in terms, well, it's just not as efficient as it is in the in the brain. But if you look at it on a macro scale, especially if you take something like say something that's very like say the Amazon, you can you think about that huge area. Um, and there's a signal getting passed along. It might be slower than in the brain, but it, it is happening. It, it starts to give you this idea that there is some sort of uh, intelligence with that. And then you look at it on the entire scale of the Earth, and then you look at it in terms of also the electromagnetic field of the Earth. And... Uh, it all starts to become, I think, uh, you know, very, very thought-provoking in that way. And so, it's fun to be a scientist, and it's and it's good for our soul to to uh, honor nature and what God has given us. So, I love you.